Hello, this is RPGLPs, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! Since last time I rearranged all my party's equipment and gear, notice I have Locke at 290 HP. He's critical HP. I want him at that because I have him on the Valiant Knight there. Take a look at my equipment. I'm going to remove uh, Cyan's sprint shoes and equip him with the... Hero Ring. Notice I have him on the True Knight. There we go. Okay, let's head into Figaro Castle. Now there's a little side quest we can do here. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, go to Figaro. And we're going to leave our airship behind. Oh. Well, let's uh, stop and explore. And want to head down here. And in here. A couple new enemies in here. I like all these guys. Just uh, attack on lock there. I'm going to show off Cyan's new sword text. Now, number seven is Quadra Slice, where he attacks four times. Number eight is, I believe it's called Cleave, where it's an instant death attack. I'll show you number eight off. Yeah, look at that. Dispatches the whole group. Alright. It's so, uh do I have an antidote? No, I don't. There we go. Oop. And right there we get a wing edge. Now I actually want to give the wing edge to Locke in place of his valiant knife. And heal everybody up here. Now two wing edges is insane for right now. Get an ether. Let's head down here. And right here, you want to heal up. I'm going to take a second, rearrange my equipment, be right back. Okay, we're back. I equipped the Marvel shoes on Terra there. I'm going to open this up for monsters! For boss time against the Master Pug himself. Now, just attack on this guy. And... You can actually put him to sleep. Now I want to show you the seventh sword tech, Quadra Slice. Come on. Probably should have had Mog jump before, but whatever. Now let's see here. Yeah, I'll use Ultima. Why not? Yeah, this guy can use Step Mine. So you gotta be careful with that. Holy cow! Yeah, he counters with Stepmine, so this is not good. Okay, we got him. Wow, I got lucky there. And what do we get for our efforts? We get a Gradus. It's like a Gladius knife, I believe. I'm gonna take a second, heal up, be right back. Okay, we're back. Healed up. Now that Gradius knife you can equip on lock. And yeah, I'll keep this one in. I believe this is all the new enemies, so I'm gonna equip the Moogle Charm after this battle. Just to get him over with. Because I really want to get through this whole area. I want to get through it today. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention they have their all enemies here. They have the reflect spell. So yeah, that was a bad idea. I used uh, magic. So oh well, that's all the enemies we're going to be fighting today. Well, not entirely, but there you go. Moogle charm. 
Now let's just raid this guy's treasure in here. You want to head down here? And right here, we can... What's in this chest? We get Doom Darts for Setzer. I don't really care for them, since I'm really not going to be using Setzer all that much. Now before going down those stairs, you want to go right here. Get a Magicite. And an X Potion. Alright. That's all the treasure here, so let's head down. You could take advantage of this uh, save point. I'm actually going to with a tent here. Now before heading up, it, up those stairs to the left, you want to have maximum HP and MP. Now if you take Terra along, you get a little extra scene here. So that's why I wanted Terra along. Plus I have her working on Pearl. Because Pearl will be very useful because after this place, we're going to be heading to the last side quest in the game. And yeah. Holy cow! Esper attack. This kind of looks like Doma Castle. No, this is the ancient castle, I believe. Odin? Alright. Where is he? What's going on, Tara? Yeah, so that that, that right there is Odin, the Esper. And he just sliced him all in two. How badass is that? <laughs> and apparently it didn't work on the ghost. Well, why not? He's he's not immune to instant death. Yeah, so Odin got turned to stone there. That's interesting. Now there's some new enemies here. I'm not going to do this today. I just want to go in here. Now before before opening this, I'm going to rearrange my party in a specific way. So I'll take care of that. Be right back. Okay, I rearranged my uh, equipment. I just healed everybody up. And yeah, let's open this box. For boss time against Katana Soul. Now this guy is probably one of the hardest enemies in the game. Now I want to use Muddle on him for a very good reason. Hopefully this works. If it works, it'll confuse him and, well, you'll see. Yep, it worked. This guy can be very hard, but if you do that, he counters with an instant death attack and kills himself. You do not want to fight that guy regularly. Now, for killing him, we get the most abusive relic in the game, the Offering. If you saw my bonus episode, uh, the previous episode, the bonus episode, I talked a little bit about the Offering. But if you did not see that, I'll explain it. The Offering changes Fight into X-Fight. Now, instead of attacking once, you'll now have four attacks. It's the most abusive. Abusive relic in the game, my personal favorite to use with Gaw. Or, uh, or Mog or Edgar. Now, it is obscene if you give, like how I'm going to, and for Locke, I'm going to actually give him the offering with the Genji Glove. With dual wing edges. Now, you could give him the Valiant Knife and the Illumina, and have him be critical HP. And have Cyan or or somebody with high HP have the uh, True Knight relic. So you'd be doing Mac. I mean, you'd be doing like 5,000 damage for eight hits. It's insane, and I have no trouble abusing it. 
since it's in the game, so why not? Anyways, that's all time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Next episode, we will be exploring the rest of the ancient castle and seeing what awaits us. This is RPGLPs, heading out. I'll see you next time!